Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'd like to talk about how to install the MinGW W64 compiler in MATLAB. Now you might look at that title and say, wow this seems like a really esoteric topic, why would I ever want to do this here? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. Why don't we jump over to Simulink and take a look at why you might actually need or want the MinGW W64 compiler for MATLAB. All right, so what I've got here is a Simulink model that I'm actually using to interface and control an Arduino here. Now, the interesting part about this model here is it actually contains a block which is an S function here. So you might recall here that an S function is effectively a Simulink wrapper to C, C++, or a Fortran code. So therefore, in order to execute this model here, MATLAB needs to compile this C code here into something that's executable here. So in order to do that, it's going to need a C compiler. So for right now, since I don't have a C compiler on this machine here, if I go ahead and try to hit run, it's going to try to compile, but then it's going to fail here. And actually, if you take a look here, it actually gives a fairly helpful error message stating exactly why it failed, and luckily, a couple of links on how to resolve this. The resolution is basically to link or install a C compiler onto your machine here. So in order to do that, this is actually um, fairly reasonable. One potential option here is you could come back to MATLAB. Now, if you had a C compiler on your machine, but MATLAB simply wasn't linked up to that right now, you could type in here and say mex-setup and hit enter, and it would give you an option to link to any of the supported compilers on your machine. You might want to note here that not all compilers are supported in this fashion. For example, on my machine, I have Microsoft Visual Studio 2017, which is a perfectly valid C compiler, right? If you look here, let me see, Visual Studio. Here we go. I got Visual Studio 2017 on this machine, but it's actually not going to work for this workflow here. So MATLAB is not going to allow me to select or link to this compiler. So instead, I need to use method two, which is the suggested procedure of installing the MinGW W64 compiler here. So why don't we go ahead and do that now. So to get that, all I need to do here is come here to Home, Add-ons, and let's click on Get Add-ons. And when the Add-on Explorer comes up, what we're going to do here is we are just going to simply search for MinGW, and hopefully that will show up. So I'll come here in the search bar and say MinGW, and click on Search. And here it is. Here's the MATLAB support for the MinGW-W64C uh, compiler. So this is what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and click on it. And now, unfortunately, if you look here, this might ring a bell. For those of you who watched our video talking about getting the Simulink support package for Arduino hardware set up and running, you may notice that we ran into this issue earlier here where basically I am running a older version of MATLAB. I'm running R2016B here and there are some issues associated with that in terms of how to download third-party software here. So there is a, um, a workaround that I am going to have to go through here, but hopefully you are not going to have to do that if you have an earlier, newer version of MATLAB, namely R2017B or later, you shouldn't be affected. So if you have a newer version of MATLAB, feel free to just skip ahead uh, a few minutes here in the video while I go ahead and implement this workaround. All right, so let's just go ahead and click on the report here, and it's going to take us to a website here. I'll include the URL um, in the description of this video here, but basically this describes what the problem is, and luckily they have a fairly reasonable workaround for this. So I'll let you read through this at your own leisure if you're interested, but what this basically amounts to is scrolling down all the way to the bottom here and finding a zip file which contains a few... Um, files that we're going to have to overwrite in our MATLAB installation. So I'm going to find the one that's appropriate for me. So here, it's this one. It sure looks like this is affecting MATLAB R2013B through 2017A for Windows. So this is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and download that file here. I'll go ahead and accept the uh, limited license here. And now let's go ahead and look at that folder or look at that file. And we see it's just a zip file. And if I go ahead and extract all of these to this location, I can go ahead and look inside here and we see that what this basically is, is there's a single file here 
that we need to um, add to our MATLAB install directory here. If you can actually even look at this, it's 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 very very simple. It's all it's doing is it's changing a um, a communication protocol here. So it's a very minor change here. Um, there's a, a few other files here in this bug report directory as well that will need to be added to our MATLAB path here. So in order to do that, why don't I first come back to MATLAB and let's figure out where is MATLAB installed. So if I type in MATLAB root, here's where this is. It's installed in C program files MATLAB R2016. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this here. And let's come back to our Windows Explorer here and tell you what, I'm going to move this to one side, like maybe move it over here. And let's fire up another instance of Windows Explorer, move it to the other side here. And let's go take a look at that directory here. Make a note that this is in the program files uh, directory, so you may need to be logged in as a user who has uh, administrator rights because what we're going to try to do now is, if you look here, there is a bin here in the new uh, downloaded file that we're going to need to replace, and there's a bin file here, there's a bug report folder here, and there's a bug report folder over here, so all we need to do is basically um, make replacements here uh, to, to quote unquote upgrade our old version of MATLAB 2016B. So let's start with the bin. So if we look over here, this is the new version of the file. I go bin in W64 and there's one file. So again, I'll come over here in bin and I'll come in W64. And actually, there is no file in here called java.op. So if I search for Java, there's just one file called java launcher.dll. So actually, that's great. I don't need to make any backups here. I can just simply go ahead and copy this file and uh, paste it in and again it looks like I need administrator right so yep let's that's totally fine let's go ahead and paste that thing in and uh, all right now let's come back up to our MATLAB root and also over here we will come back up a few levels come here to the bug report let's go into bug report and we see that okay here is this file uh, I don't see a corresponding file already so I'll go ahead and just simply yeah go ahead and copy paste it into here Again, I need administrator rights. Now, the license here is the same in both. So MathWorks actually recommends making a copy of the existing one, which probably isn't a bad idea. So I'll go ahead and copy that, and I'll just paste this into some random location on my machine. Maybe I'll call this thing old, just so I have it in case I need to go back. So with that backed up, I can go ahead and copy the new license and paste it into here. All right, so there we go. So again, I need administrator rights. Let's go ahead and say yes. Okay, so theoretically, that should be the implementation of the workaround here. So with that being said, why don't we go ahead and restart MATLAB. So I'll go ahead and close the add-on explorer. I'll close MATLAB here, which is going to kill Simulink while we're at it here. And then let's go ahead and restart MATLAB. And once this comes up, we'll go ahead and start installing the package here. So I'm going to pause the video for a second. Oh, actually, never mind. That came up uh, much quicker than I thought here. So let's come here to add-ons, get add-ons. And once again, once the add-on explorer pops up here, let's go ahead and maximize it, get ourselves a little bit more real estate here. Let's go ahead and again, search for the min GW and click on this. Again, get the same page. And again, now we have addressed this issue here. So uh, we should be able to go ahead and hopefully be able to come here and install. So let's go ahead and install. And uh, this may take a little while here. So we'll go ahead and um, pause the video and come back if anything interesting happens. All right, so I'm asked to accept this. I'll go ahead and hit accept. And again, looks like it's more waiting. So again, let's go ahead and pause the video. Okay, and here we are with another uh, notification about third-party software. We can view the license if we want, but I don't. I'm just going to go ahead and hit next, and here we go. We're off to the races to start downloading and installing the packages. So again, let's go ahead and hit pause on the video and come back if anything interesting happens. Okay, and we're back, and it looks like the installation was complete. Um, in the interest of full disclosure here, uh, during the installation process, I actually had to let setup.exe make changes to my hard drive as well as authorize a quote unquote MathWorks privileged operation. I didn't bother turning on the screen recording for that because it was just clicking yes twice here. But that got us to this point. So let's go ahead and hit finish at this point. And we should have this thing hopefully installed. So again, let's close the add on manager. And for completeness, I sure like to just restart MATLAB. So let's go ahead and close MATLAB. 
I'll close the bug report, don't need that any longer. And let's reboot MATLAB, get him started again here, and verify that this works. So what we're gonna do here is, first let's just make sure that the uh, Minji WW64 compiler has been added here and is recognized. So I'm gonna come here to my command window and just now type in mex-setup. And here we are, this looks very promising. It says that math, uh, um, it is now configured to use that compiler that we just set up. So that's perfect. Why don't I now go ahead and open up that Simulink model that threw the error earlier. So I'll just run this script, which I use to initialize variables and to open the model in question here. Um, and we'll give Simulink a, a second or two to start up. And what we can see here is here's my Simulink model. Again, if you recall, this is the one that when we tried to execute it, it gave us uh, a bit of an issue due to the S function and the lack of a compiler. But now that we have this installed, let's go ahead and try to run this now. So I'll just go ahead and hit play here or hit run. And you're seeing it's building, it's compiling. We can actually click on this view diagnostics button here. And aha, look at that, building with the me and GWC compiler, and it looks like it was completed successfully. So um, that was good, although it's it's we're not done yet, right? It still says it's building, so maybe we should give this a few more seconds before we declare victory here. So we see MATLAB is still running through a couple of processes here. It's probably um, potentially still compiling. I'm actually not 100% sure any longer what it's still uh, working on here, but for those of you who have ever worked with uh, Arduino or the Simulink support package with Arduino hardware or running models externally, I think you realize that this build process sometimes can take a little longer than you'd like here, which is unfortunately what we're doing here. But aha, hey, look at that. That looked uh, good. Look at this. And here we are. And that looks like a win here because look at this. We are now running that this model here successfully on an Arduino externally here. So. That being said, I think this showed how to uh, solve the problem of getting S functions running in your Simulink model. And basically, again, we solved that problem by installing the MinGW-W64 compiler here on MATLAB. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we will have new videos talking about MATLAB, Simulink, and Arduino uh, in the near future. So thank you very much, and I hope to catch you at the next video. Bye.